Hey everyone, this is the continuation of our memory management series and this is the topic after paging, so segmentation. In segmentation, the program is divided into various parts which are known as segments as we already know in programs there are various modules, various segments. Because these segments are of variable in sizes but in this st while storing them in memory there is a limitation that is there is one maximum segment size okay so like the same way in paging it consists of two parts one is segment number and the other is offset okay so as we discussed in the dynamic partitioning the size can be variable okay the but the only difference is that in dynamic partitioning all the parts that is the whole process is stored contiguously but in this it need not to be contiguous some part of the segment can be stored at some place while the other can be at another place okay okay one segment can be stored at one place and another can be at another place all segments need not to be contiguous okay what happens is this eliminates the internal fragmentation as the size is equal to that of the segments so there is no memory wastage inside that partition but like dynamic program uh, dynamic dynamic partitioning it suffers from external fragmentation as as the time goes on and there are various swaps so there remains sometimes small space in between partitions which is not of any use to other incoming processes okay so yeah the good thing is the paging was invisible but the concept of segmentation is visible to the user user can create various segments and as it is created in modular programming and the only thing he needs to be considered right now is the maximum segment size okay so he should not exceed that and so in this there is no relation between the actual logical and physical address okay it is done done behind the curtain and you can't verify that this was the logical address now this is the segment address how can i derive from this to that which was pretty easy and clear when we employed paging so like that page like paging this is also done with the segment table okay the segment table contains segment number and offset so the logical address in the program is like this segment number offset so how it is translated so the logical address is considered of some bits say n plus m bits in which the first n refers to the segment number so which can be used to find the physical address okay the starting physical address of that segment by using the segment table and the m is the offset that is the actual desired address in that segment we need which can be acquired by adding this okay this offset to the physical address which we obtained with n so that makes up our whole desired address okay so yeah this is better technique in programmers view okay i'm not saying this is a better technique okay this is better in programmer's view as the programmer can visualize it is more easily than the paging okay so uh, yeah so the paging and segmentation both have their separate advantages okay segmentation is easier to employ programmer's perspective and can be easily created shared modules okay easily shared modules can be created segments that are read only and that are protected are much easier to visualize in this 
and paging was better in its own aspects as there was no external part external fragmentation okay now it would be better if we use the advantages both of these two and combine them into making one okay so for that scheme to take place we need to learn a few concepts about the term virtual memory what virtual memory is and what are the many things it consists of so we can combine both paging and segmentation to make a better technique and which is actually employed in most of the oss today okay so we will see that later so the next video will be looking at into the topic of virtual memory okay so keep watching and if you like my video please comment down below if you have any have any problem comment please and click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe okay thanks for watching